install byte you need to go to byte.js click get start copy yarn paste in the terminal create project using vanilla javascript hit yarn you also need to install barba and gsep so go to barba yes website go to documentation go to install copy the yarn and paste it and also install gsep okay so that's it your project setup is complete let's create the project at tailwind in our header and also at the style.css and array attribute data barba wrapper in the body tag remove this app id and add a main tag and add header there add all the content add the transition and add two attribute in the main tag one called data barba container another one is called data barba namespace namespace and this is the page name so this is the home page okay and don't forget to add the style in main tag so this is the style so now copy this integral html file four times one two three four and change the name it will be about page and also i need to change the namespace also the content it will be blog so need to change the name sorry content and the namespace and it will be content contact change the namespace contact okay, contact it will be service services change the namespace sorry and add the services okay that's it now save it okay now check how is it look And remove all the code from here now check it how is it look it's look nice okay so now let's implement the animation okay you need to go to the main.js and import gsap and barva add barva in it barva in it and add sync to add transition first add once function then add leaf function then add inter function so once basically when you load the page then the animation inter will call animator inter function will call and again when you enter the page the animation inter function will call again add the delay function in the bottom so this is the delay function it will wait uh, like whatever second you add over here if I add two seconds, it will wait two seconds uh, uh, to finish the page transition. Let's create animator inter function and let's create a timeline and return it. And this container basically means this container. So this main text. So whatever inside this container, we can animate it through this container. So that's why we are passing this as a props. And now we can define our h tag and image tag okay all the h yeah, like h tag this is a one h tag over here this is a, a one image tag over here so we'll animate that these two so i just uh, defined that and now we'll animate it we'll use from from gsep image and we will do y 200 opacity zero and we'll do the same thing for our heading so heading will be 20 not 200 now if i load the page you will see the animation if i go to the home page if i load the page do you see we see the animation but when i enter the page we didn't see the animation because we didn't create animation lib function so let's create the animation lib function so we will just copy this and paste it over here and now we will name it animation lib and now again we will define our heading and image and now we will use two 
so when it sleep then it will animate we need to add a parameter over here which which indicates that it should this should this animation should start 0.5 second before the end of the first animation okay so let's see how is it look if i go another page it takes i think two seconds so the reason is for this we have a delay function over here that's why it takes two seconds to complete the leaf transition if we just remove this we won't see the delay again so if now i sh go to the side and click did you see there's no delay effect but we can customize it we don't need to remove it we can add four second so the 0.4 second and then we can see how is it work so if i do click did you see we get this smooth transition okay so this is the one transition and now move on to the second transition as we already add uh, the transition of our uh, in every single page and also we already add the style in css so now we just need to animate it so let's create a function called paste transition so i will copy it and paste it over here name the change to page transition and remove the container because we don't need it and we also don't need this now we will use 2 and 2 and now we will name it transition ally because we will animate all the ally not just the you will tag okay transition sorry ally so also we need to change it scale y 1 transform horizon bottom left and then stagger because there are five allies so we need to add a stagger so that we can get a like sick animation like get a delay effect on each every ally so we will also drop it over here copy and paste okay now we need to change the transform origin top to left uh, okay top to left okay so it's finished now we need to add this in the animation leap over here we will use the callback on complete okay on complete and paste it over here so now we go to the side and see how is it look like so if i go there and click any of these okay we see the transition but we didn't see the animation the page animation so we need to again add there's some delay in our delay function if we add the delay if we add the delay over here like two seconds two seconds or 2.5 seconds then i think it will be work it will work okay if i now click oh okay it's coming after 2.5 seconds but this thing animate instantly whenever i click the button so we need to add a delay on our callbacks in our callbacks so sorry not the callbacks it will be timeline in the paste transition so we will delay 0 0.8 second so whenever we click any button it will animate after 0 0.8 second okay so now check it how is it work so this thing's gone it's animating okay so it's perfectly working hope you enjoyed the video guys and hit the subscribe button and see you all in the next tutorial. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.